Okay, so our second problem is a base stock model. So we're going to use the, um, the same example as we used before. So we've got a materials manager for a manufacturer of diesel oil filters, has a demand of metal tubes of 250 units per week. So that's MU equals 250 units per week on the right hand side. The lead time for the tubes is two weeks, L equals two. Our root mean square error is 1,316. Um, and again, that is uh, expressed as um, units per year. Um, and uh, the difference here in our base stock model is that the um, materials manager reviews inventory levels at a uh, period of once per week. So we have a review period here. We're going to call that little r. I'm going to say that is one because he does it once per week. So review period is one week. Um, the same uh, assumption is for the alpha. We're still assuming 95% service level, but we're going to work out this problem in terms of a periodic review, which is the base stock model. Okay, so let's dive into it. The first step again is going to be to find our weekly root mean square error or stand deviation. Now we did this previously, we worked it out as 1316 on the square root of 52. I'm going to speed through this a little because we've seen it before. 182.5. Now we can go in and find the safety stock. So let's find our safety stock. Now the terms we will need is L is two weeks. This time we need to know what our review period, it's one week. Our sigma L we calculated is 182.5. Our Z, if we remember from our last problem, we used our norm S inverse 0.95 and that gave us 1.64. So we can go ahead with our safety stock equation, which is safety stock is equal to Z sigma L. Now this time when we have the square root, the difference is it's the lead time plus our review period. Okay, so there's 1.64 times 182.5 times the square root of our lead time 2 plus 1, a review period to give us the square root of 3. So we calculate through and we get 518 units of safety stock. Next we can go on and find what our base stock level is. So let's go ahead and find our base stock level. The terms we'll be needing is once again mu is 250 units a week, L is two weeks, R is one week, and Z 1.64. Our base stock level we're going to call B and if you remember the theory, it's mu times L plus R plus safety stock, which for a base stock model is sigma Z sigma L square root of L plus R. And plugging our values in, we get 250 times 2 plus 1 plus 
our safety stock we've already calculated up here is 518 units so doing the maths all the way through we get 1268 units okay so we can do our last step now for the base stock model and we're asked last of all to find what our average inventory is so let's go ahead and find our average inventory the all the terms we need for this are going to be mu again as 250 r is 1 and our safety stock calculated just before as 518 so let's go ahead and find our expected inventory now our equation is mu times r all divided by 2 plus z sigma l square root of l plus r just our safety stock so this is 250 our review period is one week so it's times one divide this all by two plus safety stock which is 518 and calculating through we get 643 units so it's a little messy there let me rewrite that. Six hundred and forty three units. Okay, so graphically, once again, let's see all our key attributes. So we have on the y axis inventory units, time is on the x-axis so our top value we calculated is our B base stock level we calculated this out to be 1268 units from over here our um, safety stock we calculated is 500 I'm going to call the SS for safety stock 518 units and going through our average inventory calculation we have our average inventory in this region here at 643 units all right so hopefully that's given you a good idea of the uh, base stock model and the qr model